Kevin Tharp here. Now, this is going to be the last video in this series. There's a couple of other things that we want to do just to sort of tie up the loose ends on this uh, PHP and includes based uh, style sheet. So what I'm doing is I am working on the template file here. Um, I want to make sure that I have a link to an external style sheet because as I'm using a template, uh, I want to have the styles apply to uh, a number of different pages. So what I'm going to do uh, again, just like I created the includes folder earlier and the templates folder, I want to come up, up to the root of my site and I want to include, include a new folder called CSS. And this is where I'm going to st store all my style sheets when I'm working with this. Uh, so we've got that going. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a, um, a document to go into that CSS folder. So I'm just going to do a file new uh, CSS document and that doesn't have to have a whole lot of code in there. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and save that into that in, uh, CSS folder. And I am going to call it, I'm just gonna call it my ba base. CSS, because you can use multiple CSS. This is just the base one. I'll save that in there. Uh, then what I want to do is I want to come back to this template and I want to make a link to that um, to that CSS. So I need to come inside the head tag and I need to create the link property. And that is a style sheet. And then I need to do the href. Now, this is where we again need to use a root relative because the, the, the documents from this could live anywhere. So as I'm doing my href, I want to do forward slash, which brings it to root relative or brings it to the root first. Then it's going to be CSS to get into the CSS folder and then base.css. And that way this link to this CSS uh, file will work from anywhere. And then the other element is type equals, and then I close that link. And since I don't have anything, those styles apply at this point. But now any page that I create from this is going to have that link. So I'll probably want to, uh, once again, erase over the PHP document that I had stored in my index.php. Um, the other thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that in my navigation, as I'm going forward that I am using these root relative URLs. So if I'm going to uh, have a home page, uh, what I want to do is I want to create a, an anchor to that. Oops. Let me just move that out of the way so it's not. Okay, so I put that forward slash in there. That makes it a root relative uh, link to just the index.php page, uh, in this case to the home page. And then uh, that will always be a link to that home page no matter where it is. Now, if I was uh, creating a second one and I was going to some other page, then I would need to do the forward slash and then the path to that page, whether it's just a file name or a uh, path through folders and file names. Uh, and then that will apply to the pages that we're using. So I'll just save that and close it. Now the other thing, really it, it comes down to uh, just thinking about what's going on now. So I'm gonna have a header. In my header, right now there's, there's, no, um, there's no real content in there. But what I wanna think about is what's gonna go at the top of my page. Well, normally there's an image in there. So you're gonna wanna add an image, maybe some text that are gonna show up in the header of your page. Now remember, when you link to that image, you need to have it as a root relative URL so that it can find it from anywhere in your site. Um, so that's, that's an important thing to think about. So as you go forward, start having fun with this. This is the base that will allow you the ability to go forward and create massive sites uh, and then have the ability to just update those in one place and uh, synchronize it all and and make it happen so uh, as we go forward one last look at what we've done as i reload this I then have whoops i didn't close my anchor tag um, 
better fix that before I move on. I'll just upload that one. And the way that I knew that is because all of a sudden everything after that was underlined, had the properties of a, a, a hyperlink. So I'm just going to refresh that now and that home is going to bring me to this location. Off, ready to go. Now go out and have some fun with this assignment.